new year is here, which means it's time to dive into some new planners, which has me super excited. Now the planner I'm attempting to set up in this video is what I like to call my catch-all planner. The main thing I use this for is nursing school, but I also have personal stuff in here, appointments, things for my son, my husband, whatever. And then in the back of this, I also have my fitness planner where I track um, workouts, meals, water, that kind of thing. So this is my catch-all. Everything goes in here. This is the planner I take with me the most. It's the one I'm planning in the most. So um, it's really important that I get this set up. Now I had this idea in my head of how I wanted to get this planner set up and I thought I was set on it. I thought, okay, this is exactly how I wanna do this. This is what I'm gonna do. But Ashley has commitment issues and I started to set this up and I realized um, throughout the video that I just, it, I wasn't liking it, I wasn't feeling it. I did get it set up on camera, but then I stopped the video um, because I was honestly getting anxious and I, um, I didn't like the way it was turning out. I didn't like what was happening. I didn't like that I wasn't actually getting it set up, which seems silly, right? Like why, why do we get so stressed out and worked up over a planner? But this is like our lifelines. You guys know this. Um, we have so much information inside of here and it's what actually helps us get things done and not forget things. So it was really important to me to get this thing set up, but it didn't happen. Um, I actually stopped the video, which you guys will see towards the end. I walked away from everything and I, I thought I'm not gonna post this video. I'm not gonna post this video because of the planner's not set up and I'm just gonna do it off camera and then I'll post like a final flip through. But I'm gonna post it anyways because this is real life. This is what happened. I was working on it. I got towards the end of it and I and you can't really tell in the in the video that I'm stressed or that it was aggravating me, but it really was and I felt like my head was running 90 miles an hour and I couldn't make a decision. I just had so many options going through my head and it wasn't until I shut the camera off, I turned on some good music and I sit down and I just let myself work it out. Let myself work it out without the pressure of trying to get it done for a video. So I am gonna show you guys that, but then at the end of this, make sure you watch because I'm gonna show you a final flip through of how I ended up getting it set up. It's right here. It's pretty much done other than um, adding my syllabus into it. Um, I didn't mention this earlier, but this will be a two-part series. This one is me frank and planning it. The second video will be um, how I actually add my syllabus, set the entire semester up inside of this thing. Because remember, this is mainly for nursing school, so that's a big piece of it. So, you know, I'll do that video whenever it's time, but let's go ahead and dive into this. You guys can see that I have commitment issues, and then I'll do a quick little flip through of what I ended up doing at the end of it. All right, so we've got the Boss Babe Mini and the Home Body, and you guys, I'm really excited to put these things together. So here's kind of my idea and what my thoughts are. I really love the Boss Babe Monthly because the pages are pretty pretty blank, versus the Home Body, you've got a lot of color and stuff happening in here, which is not bad. I don't think that it's ugly or anything. It's just I like to have more of a a bland kind of planner and then I get to choose the colors that go in it, which I've talked about before. So for sure using the monthly from the Boss Babe. However, I think I'm liking this part of the dashboard layout better on the um, Homebody. So I'm probably going to use this more than this one, but for the month of January, I'm gonna use both. And this will help me determine which one I like better, which style I like um, decorating more, using for school or whatever. So for the month of January, I'm gonna use both of them and that's the month we're gonna set up. And then around the end of January, I will decide which um, weekly pages I wanna go with or if I wanna do a combination of both and I'll finish setting up the weekly pages for the entire semester. Now, like I said, this is a part one, a part two. So once I get my syllabus, the monthlies will be set up for the entire semester already. And then I just plan out the weeklies every single week. Um, as they as I go so the weekly pages are not that big of a deal I can add and adjust and change as I go I just the monthlies are the big thing for me getting those set up knowing when exams are and that kind of thing so for today we're just frank and planning now I am going to I have a couple of other planners here and some happy notes and um, random things sent around me that I want to pop in this thing but I have these two and the plan is to use these wait a minute nope not those discs hold on <laughs> This is a Happy Notes, and I'm going to use these discs with this cover, I think, for um, the rest of winter. And then once summer gets here, I'm probably going to use this cover, but I'll use the inside one because I like that better. So that's the plan with that. But these two, wait a minute, where, where am I at here? Okay, these two are my fitness planners. Those are going to go into the back of um, these planners and once I get them set up together, and then that way... Everything that I need is inside of one planner and I'll put it all inside of a um, deluxe cover. It's around here somewhere. I'm looking for it, but I don't see it. Anyways, I'll put it all in deluxe cover. So the front half of my planner is going to be for nursing school. The back of it will be 
uh, fitness and health related. So let's go ahead and we'll start getting all this stuff Frankenplan stuck together and kind of deciding on how we want to go about things. I went ahead and got the cover and the discs ready off camera so you guys wouldn't have to set through that. So now what we're going to do is um, go ahead and start adding pages from each one of these into here and then I will use double sided tape to uh, stick everything together. Now here's the other dilemma that I have really quickly while I'm thinking about it. I really love this striped cover. It's simple, it's really cute, and then I also have from my old planner, I have black metal discs, which I absolutely love because if I took it out of the deluxe cover, I felt like these were, the, the, well, they are sturdier than the plastic ones because they're metal, but I really like these because if I did have it out of my cover and I was sticking it inside of my backpack, I didn't have to stress about breaking them. So that might end up being my cover as well on my discs. <laughs> This is some this is the best part though is you can change this so many times and it doesn't matter. I mean, yeah, it might take you like 10 minutes, but totally worth it. This is one of the reasons why I love the Happy Planner. Is everything is changeable. So, absolutely love that. But for now, we're going to start the year out with this. I love these blue colors. This is really matches for winter. So, this is what we're going to go with. Now, let's see which I definitely like this cover better. hoping you guys can see what I'm doing. I never use these pages, so they are not going in my planner. I never use those either. And I like the, like I said, I like the monthlies and the dividers. These ones better inside of the Boss Babe. So for the first week, I'm going to use this one. So we will pull this, pop it into here. And then I think what I'm going to do is week two, I'm going to use the one out of here, which will be this week. Start the sixth. So we'll pull both of those. We'll stick those in there. And I'm going to um, alternate for January. So week one will be one layout. Week two will be the other. And then we'll swap back and forth and kind of go from there. So then this will go next Wait a minute, did I mess that up maybe I should do it one week at a time and get those stuck in there so this will be through the fifth oh yeah see I pulled the wrong one here no I didn't because those will be stuck together let's go ahead and stick them together because I'm gonna sit and do this this entire time and I'll be really really confused so this is a Tombow double-sided um, adhesive tape roller thing. I probably got this at Hobby Lobby if I had to guess. Let's double check. Week one, these two will be stuffed together. This will be week two. All right, great. line it up and that's a little bit crooked but that's okay so then that'll be the second week in january week one week two and then we'll stick these two down you know what i don't think i'm going to do that i may do a couple of because i've used this spread this layout with this these four blocks before and I really, I like this one a lot better. So I may give this one a few more weeks inside of here. And then if I'm not liking the three blocks, and my thoughts are this, because the last time I used this, I had a section for each nursing class. And then I had a section for clinicals. And then I would cover this section up. So that worked out fantastically. I like having separate sections for everything. Technically with this one, I can. And I can have an additional to-do list over here. So this could be one class, another class, and clinicals here. So I could do it that way and cover this up. So I think I'm going to I'm going to do this for the rest of January, give it a few extra weeks to see if I actually like it. And that way I know come the rest of the semester I can get the planner set up and be done with it and I don't have to stress about it. So let's do that. I think that's that'll be a better option for me. So we'll stick these back in here. Now I'm going to do January through May inside of this planner. I do put the whole entire thing inside of there. That should end on the 12th. 
and then we'll get the rest of these. And then that way, once it's all set up, I don't have to stress about any of it, forgetting something, losing something. It's, it's all in there, ready to go. Now, I definitely don't like this page at all in this one. Um, I like this one better. I mean, does it matter? Not really, because I never use them, but I do kind of want things to be cohesive. So, since for January, I am going to use all of those pages, I'm gonna go ahead and stick these two together. And then that way things will match. So we'll do that really quickly. You know what? I may do it this way. I may stick the rest of the monthlies in here and I'll show you guys how I keep things separated. Because there's no point in sticking eight weeks worth of stuff in after each in between each month until I decide exactly which layout I'm gonna go with. So I'm gonna do the monthlies and I take a sticky note and I will write on here February 2020. I know you can see it there and it's obvious, but this is how whenever I'm, I have things separated outside of planners where they're supposed to be, this is how I keep track of everything. I will stick March monthly inside of here. That way, once I get my syllabus, I can go ahead and set the rest of the semester up as far as the monthlies go. And then once the I get closer towards the end of January, I'll add the weeks that I wanna, whichever layout I wanna go with on the weeks. So we'll do it this way. I think that will be better instead of sticking it all in here and then not liking something. Now for now, I'm done with these two planners. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and add my fitness stuff into the back of this, put in some dividers, folders, different things like that, and get the rest of this kind of set up. Here's the thing with my, uh, with my fitness planner. I started on this today and um, I have a couple of different layouts. And again, I haven't committed fully to anything because I keep changing everything, but this is what I'm gonna do, I think, for the monthlies is use the monthly the monthly planner, this will be like my monthly dashboard instead of using this. So this will be my dashboard. And then I have a mini vertical layout, which this is for this week already set up. I don't necessarily know that I like this because I tried this layout, which I got from Ann over at um, Sunny Shine Plans on Instagram. I'll link to her down below. She's absolutely phenomenal. But I love this layout more because this gives me more writing space to write down my meals than what one of these little blocks down here do. So I'm liking this better and I like the thought of being able to kind of customize it to my needs as far as a fitness planner goes. So I'm gonna go ahead and add this stuff into the back of this to make it thicker because if not, this is just like a little flimsy little thing. So we'll add it in there. Once I decide on that for sure, then I'll add the rest of it in there. I know I'm very indecisive right now. Planner piece is apparently not in my future today, nor this week, maybe not even this month, but we're gonna try to get to it. That's for certain. So let's go ahead and add this stuff in there as well. Um, something I do have, and I don't know where it is. I have a divider somewhere, and I haven't looked through all my stuff yet, but I have a divider somewhere that'll separate my nursing school planner and my fitness planner and it's a motivational divider and I don't honestly know what I did with it so I will have to go back in and add that I don't know if I left it in another planner where I went from mini to classic or what I did with it to be honest with you hmm. no idea okay so let's add this in there
Now I did go ahead and leave the rest of, I'll show you here, the monthly um, layout planner in here in case I decided to use it as well. You know what, I may just leave a month in here at a time because once I get all of my weekly pages in here, it's gonna get super thick. But here's what I decided to do too, was I thought about using these as a way to track my meals and my workouts. So the first line would be breakfast, snack, lunch, snack, dinner, and then my workout down below. But again, I'm indecisive. I don't know what I'm doing. Who knows what Ashley's doing? Let's put two months in there. That way it's a little bit thicker until I get the rest of those weeks in. And then we'll add the rest of the stuff to it now. So there's that. You know what we're gonna use real quick to divide these two? I love this divider. This come out of the Happy Notes that this was inside of this cover. Um, I love this divider and I'll just use it for now to divide that until I find my other little motivational one that I have. Okay, next up we're gonna add a folder to the back of it. And I have both of these ones and I think I'm gonna go with this one because it's got more of the blues in it that I like and um, different shades of it that kind of matches everything. So we'll have a folder there and then I did um, Friendsgiving with some awesome ladies on Instagram and one of the girls sent me two of these little name stickers which I absolutely love. I love the font, I love everything about it and so one of these is getting stuck inside of this planner today for sure because I love this cover so I'm going to commit to that part of it. That's the one commitment I can make for y'all today. The rest of it, mm, not going to happen. So we will use... Let's see, this will be for my monthly. So we'll go back to January. I probably honestly need to get more divider tabs because I don't have very many mini ones. I mainly have classic. But then this one will be for my weekly, which will be this week. And then I need to get one more for the back here for my fitness one. So I'll have to um, order some or find some. I might have someone laying around here somewhere. So there's that part of it. Let's go ahead. I really wanna add this sticker in there. So let's go ahead and do that part of it. And you guys, this sticker is so stinking cute. I wish I could write like this, but I can't. Let's put that A and the L on the line. I'm guessing this is how this one works. And then I'll peel that top layer off. All right, so there's that. Let's peel this baby off of here and see if it works. Oh my goodness, I think it's going to. You guys, it's shiny too. How flippin' cute. Looky there. That is phenomenal and I wish I kept it in the envelope of the girl who sent it to me because now I got the envelopes all messed up and I don't know which babe sent this to me when we did the Friendsgiving because like I said, I separated everything, but she's the bomb. I hope she watches this and she sees this because this is my thank you to you. I absolutely love this. This is super cute. Oh, that turned out so good. So good. Okay, there's that part of it. Now we're gonna add some stickers into here. So I have this little box that this is one of those little tote things from um, Ikea. And I keep a lot of school stuff in here. Here's some of the other stickers that the other girls from the um, Friendsgiving sent me. Look at how cute this stethoscope is, you guys. I love that one. So anyways, I keep some other things inside of here. And one thing I love having, this right here. So I keep these stuck together and I usually stick them in my planner. They'll go in the back in the folder because a lot of these I can use and these are all from, not all of them, I shouldn't say that. Most of them are from the Supermom Mini and 
there's another sticker book that was a mini one. I don't remember which one now, but that's where a lot of these come from. Like, I like using this for school, for clinicals, different things like that. So, practice. Maybe we have to practice skills. Um, important. That one says no school carpool. I could use that. I like the planner babe one. Remember, there's more backpacks, to-do lists. These, I use these ones for uh, my clinical bag. I also use those for clinical in my monthly. And then I really like using these ones for Instagram, but I've been hoarding them because this is the last that I have of them. So I've been keeping them separate. But these will actually go inside of the folder right here. I love having these back here, especially if I need to plan on the go. If my schedule changes or something, everything's in there that I need. So those are there. And then the last thing that we're going to add, at least for today, is some inserts. Now I have random junk laying around here. Okay, so I love these ones these are super cute and i like to add these right before the folder because the folder is kind of my way to get to them so we'll put these here these are the full size assignment sheets they're for classic this is similar to what they look like this is a different style but they're the classic size and then I just cut them down to fit in my mini because I absolutely love these assignment sheets they just don't have them in mini so we've got some of those will stick inside of there and then the rest of these are just random ones we don't want those ones love having these in here these always come in handy so we'll stick those in a little chunkier and then it'll get a little bit better because I feel like this is super thin <laughs> compared to what I'm used to but once I get the rest of those weeks added in um, for the semester this will thicken up and I'll like that a lot better so there's that and then the last thing I'm going to do is add it inside of my um, deluxe cover that I have so we'll slip this in here I know I really wish you all I would have been able to um, commit to a layout and get all this done as much as I can but unfortunately I just can't decide right now and I'm not going to force myself to because then I'm afraid that I won't like it and I have to rechange everything and that's not what I want to do. All right so this is where the final flip through is going to be and you guys will see that I ended up uh, making a decision on which layout I wanted to do. I finalized some things. I took some things out, added some things. Um, just kind of changed some things up and got it pretty much set up. There are a few more things that I would like to do, which I'll talk about in just a second. But other than that, I think I'm pretty much ready to go and I just have to add my syllabus to it. So let's go ahead and do a quick flip through of that and you guys can see what I, what I came up with. So when we open this thing up, the biggest change you'll see right off the bat is the cover. Um, I thought that other cover was absolutely gorgeous. I love those blue discs, but black is my favorite color, and I love, absolutely love these black metal mini discs. These are definitely my favorite that I've ever had, and I had to use them again. So I swapped out covers. I used the black and white stripe. This is from the Boss Babe Mini, so I just flipped the cover around, and I love it already. That was one big change that I did that I think made me feel a lot better. So we open this thing up. Nothing's really changed with the... Uh, title page or the monthlies this is the current week that we're on and I went ahead and made a spread for it now the biggest dilemma that I had was I couldn't decide between this dashboard layout or this dashboard layout and I finally decided that I had to commit I needed to pick a layout and I needed to stick with it throughout the semester um, because not having my planner set up before school starts and then trying to get it set up once school starts and I'm stressed and I've got exams going on and all these things that just, that was too overwhelming for me. That was too much. So I knew that I needed to commit to something. And I actually decided to go with this layout for the entire semester because I've done this one before. Worked out great. Absolutely loved it. But I'm ready for something a little bit different. But this one's still going to be super functional. So I went ahead and stuck all the weeks in for the entire semester. And I felt so much better after I did this. You guys, like, it's crazy to me how a planner, like, it just relieves so much stress once I did this. But 
I did and I felt better so I went ahead and used these monthly uh, monthly dashboards so I used these ones these are from the boss babe again boss babe monthly and I just I stuck with this this dashboard layout and I love it I think it looks great it turned out awesome and I'm excited for it um, I do need to change a couple of these I still haven't done that yet I ran out of time last night whenever I was working on this um, so I'll go back in and put the boss babe dashboards here just to cover those up but it's in here I got all the way through May so we get through that and I still kept this little divider here to separate nursing school from my fitness planner I do want to get a couple of more of like these um, and have that separate it, but I'll get that. That's not something that stresses me out so much as not knowing which what I'm going to do each week and not already having that done. So back here we have my fitness planner. Not much has changed with it. It still looks the same. I did stick this little um, coffee paper clip in here. I got this from one of the girls in the Friendsgiving I was talking about earlier. And I did that temporarily until, like I said, I get more dividers and pop those in here. This is still super cute though. I absolutely love this. It's rose gold. I know you guys can't tell, but this is a really cute paper clip. Now this is probably the layout I'm for sure going to go with with fitness. I did talk about that. Pretty sure I'm going to stick with that. I didn't add anything else for the rest of January. I do need to sit down and get the lines finished out. That way it's ready, it's set, good to go. And then I'll add more of those pages and the rest of here to uh, finish out January. Now for February, I still need to do this part for February as well. But for now, just so the planner was a little bit thicker and it wasn't super thin, I left the monthly um, daily tasks pages in here. I thought these were really cute. I like how kind of neutral they are. Um, so I thought about maybe using these for something else, but for now I'm not making any changes. I'm committing to what I have inside of here. The only thing I have to add is some dashboards and, uh, the rest of pages like this one for the fitness planner. Now, once we get through the fitness planner, I have this clear divider here, which has my notes and I showed you guys everything that I stuck in there. We just have weekly pages and stuff, assignment sheets and just some, just some inserts and then that folder back here. Now I did take the stickers out of the folder because they were too, too thick in like one little place. And so when I was writing up here in the planner, you could fill one over top of those stickers and I didn't necessarily like that. So I just left them out for now and, uh, I'll just put other things inside of here if I need to. If not, I may take the folder out. That's not a big deal. That wasn't the thing that was stressing me out. It was just, it was those weekly pages. So it's all done now. It's all set. I'm ready to go. I feel so much better. I'm less stressed about my planner. And I have a system set up that's going to work out fantastically for me for the rest of the semester. So thank you guys for watching me and my commitment issues and sticking with me till the end of this. I really appreciate y'all and your support. Just as a reminder, your planner shouldn't be something that stresses you out. And if it does, because it does happen, but if it does, just walk away from it. Take a break, get up, go find something else to do, come back, maybe put on some music, light some candles, get yourself into a good mood, and then sit down and work on it. That's why I want to show you guys this as well, is to show you that this happens to all of us. I've gotten so many messages from people um, over the last few years on Instagram who tell me that they can't figure out a way to set up their planner and it's stressful and I try to help them work it out and figure it out, but obviously I can't set it up for them. I don't know their life fully and I don't know what they need, but I just want to let you guys know, like if your planner's stressing you out, take a break from it, come back to it later, maybe even off camera and just do a flip through of it if you're trying to do YouTube videos, but that's it guys. I think I'm set to go for the semester. Again, this is a two part series. So once I get my syllabus and I add that into here, I'll show you guys that process. And then we will do a final flip through of the entire thing once it's fully set up with my syllabus added in it. So for now, that's what I've got. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I will see you all in the next video.